everyone. As most of you know, Google Chrome and the Samsung Internet Browser are some of the most popular kind of applications you can download on iPhones and Android, specifically Google Chrome. But Samsung Internet is only available on Android phones. So I want to kind of showcase some of the big differences are, you know, what they are, and which one you should go ahead and download. If you have a Samsung Galaxy, should you use the Samsung Internet, or should you switch over to the Google Chrome browser? Now, number one, Chrome is definitely far more popular. You can get it on iPhones and Androids, you can get it on PCs, everything across the board. And the biggest thing about Chrome is its performance. A lot of people say that, you know, Google Chrome is one of the fastest internet browsers you can basically use. But also the fact that it integrates so well with like, you know, the Google Cloud services like Gmail and all those ones, that gives you a better kind of experience there, I would say. Now with the Samsung internet browser, this one is kind of made for Samsung phones in mind. So with this one, it works really well for your Samsung Galaxy phones. It's optimized for your Samsung phones. And because of that, it's tailored specifically for your phones, you know, for your Samsung devices. Now that doesn't necessarily mean it's like a really big difference from Chrome itself because it's built on Chromium which is Google Chrome's basically like its interface, but still it's a really good experience there for the most part. Between both, you're able to customize the settings and customize what they look like, but you can see side by side that, you know, they obviously look fairly similar. There's not really too many differences here. The bottom bar is a little bit smaller, I would say. It's actually about the same size, but it is kind of a little bit smaller than the bottom bar on Chrome. You can also go through and customize them because you can see they both look basically the same thing. Now with Samsung browser, you can see that the internet, you know, the information and everything is kind of spread out. The top bar shows you the browser link and everything, which you can type in. You can see you have your favorites right here. You can also quickly change whether you want to search with Google Chrome, Bing, or any other option here. And you can copy the link straight from here. It looks very similar to the Samsung keyboard, to be honest. And you also have things like at the bottom where you can go back to different pages, click on your homepage here, star a particular one. You can also click on the three lines here. And you can get access to your downloads immediately, your saved pages, your privacy, and your settings right from here. Chrome is very much the same way. It's almost kind of the same thing for the most part. So for one, you still get access to your browser information here. At the top, you have your search browser right here. You can also go through and click back and forth. You can quickly add a new tab by like going here. And you can also swipe between your tabs, usually by you know, kind of using this bottom bar right here. I think that's a newer feature. You can also go through and swipe with the particular one right here to get into your tabs. And that in and of itself is another really cool thing there as well. Now, when it comes down to basically the experience, you're basically going to be getting essentially kind of the same type of experience for the most part. When you open up a browser, when you open up a link, you can see it's going to look basically like the same thing. So there's not really going to be too many differences there for the most part. And the experience is gonna be around the same thing too. I would say the speed of Chrome is probably top tier, but because Samsung internet is built on Chrome, you're not really going to be noticing too many differences there either. And even from a privacy standpoint, again, they're both gonna be roughly around the same. I'd probably go for more of Chrome to be honest. But when it comes down to which devices are supported on both, again, Chrome wins here because it's going to be the browser that's gonna be supported on more different, you know, you know, different devices than something like Samsung, you know, internet, so. Overall, I think Chrome is the one that I'd still probably recommend a majority of people to download. I think this is my go-to and it's a really, really good one. Samsung internet is good too, but I think Chrome is definitely the winner here for sure. So from that side, that kind of covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.